What's up everyone, Brick Sanchez here, hoping you're all doing fine. So, I have been uploading song cover videos and videos of those songs that I wrote, but now I decided to put out a bit of a different one to somehow give you guys a different kind of content aside from those news that are related to coronavirus. So yeah, if that sounds cool, let's check them out. By the way guys, before I forgot, I would appreciate it if you guys would give me one of these. You can probably subscribe, comment, and yeah, like this video. And I would appreciate it. Thanks much. Yeah, let's get back you to the video. You know that satisfying feeling that everyone wants to have? That if not being the only, at least being the first one on something. Right. So on this video, I'm going to give you four firsts that happened in human history. So yeah, let's start with number one. First intelligible words on a telephone. Years back, I have read on some trivia app that I downloaded on my smartphone that the first word uttered on a telephone was hello. And it is said to be Alexander Graham Bell's who invented it, way of remembering his wife forever. As hello was his wife's name. But after digging and doing further research, I found that according to Wired.com, Bell's Journal, which is now at the Library of Congress, contains the following entry for March 10th, 1876. I then shouted into M, the mouthpiece, the following sentence. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. To my delight, he came and declared that he had heard and understood what I said. I asked him to repeat the words. He answered, You said, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. We then changed places and listened at S, the speaker, while Mr. Watson read a few passages from a book into the mouthpiece M. It was certainly the case that articulate sounds proceeded from S. The effect was loud but indistinct and muffled. Watson heard the words clearly and distinctly, and thus the first working model of a telephone was born. So based on this information, the lines of Sir Alexander Graham Bell, Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you, were the first intelligible words on a telephone call. Number 2. First person to circumnavigate the earth. If you will do a quick search on the internet for the first person to circumnavigate the world, it will oddly show Ferdinand Magellan. Or is it? Is it really odd to think that Ferdinand Magellan was the first person to circumnavigate the globe? We all know that Ferdinand Magellan really did go from west to east. Magellan first set sail in September 1519 as part of an epic attempt to find a western route to the spice-rich East Indies in modern-day Indonesia. But on an unfortunate event for him and his crew that happened in Mactan, an island from the Philippines, he was killed by the troop of Lapu-Lapu. With this, we can now remove him from our contenders for the first person to circumnavigate the earth. Another person who can be the contender for this is Enrique of Malacca, the interpreter of Magellan. Magellan had seized Enrique from Malacca during an earlier 1511 voyage to the East Indies. And the Malay later served as a round-the-world expedition's interpreter in the Pacific Islands. Enrique had previously traveled west with Magellan from Asia to Europe before joining in the voyage across the Atlantic and Pacific. So, by the time the mission reached Southeast Asia, he had very nearly circled the globe and returned to his homeland. Albi. Over the course of several years and multiple voyages, 
Enrique abandoned the expedition and disappeared shortly after Magellan's death in the Philippines. By then, he was only a few hundred miles short of his point of origin in Malacca. If he ever returned to his homeland, then Enrique may deserve the true credit for being the first person to circumnavigate the globe. Now, for the person who got the credit for being the first to circumnavigate the earth, we have Juan Sebastian Elcano. He's a Basque mariner who took control of the expedition after Magellan's death in 1521 and led its last surviving vessel, the Victoria, on its journey back to Spain. Elcano and his sailors stand as the first people to have successfully voyaged around the world as part of a single journey. So yeah, we're halfway there. And I appreciate you staying here with me. So without further ado, let's start with number three. First foot set on the moon. It is a well-known fact that Commander Neil Armstrong was the first person to step on the moon. But the question is, was it his right or left foot? On July 28, 1969, Neil Armstrong put his left foot on the rocky moon. It was the first human footprint on the moon. They had taken TV cameras with them so people all over the world watched when it happened. Now for the last one, but is not the least. Yes, definitely this is not the least. Because out of all the four firsts that I listed here on this video, this is the first... Yeah, I'm good if if I'm not the first one to get it. But so long as I'll be part of the long list of people that was able to get this one, yeah, I'm fine with it. So yeah, uh, let's check let's check it out. Number four, I want to be a billionaire so fucking bad. Buy all of the things I never had. These were the lyrics from the famous song "Billionaire." If you'll be given that chance, will you do that? If not, what will you do with your billions? Yes, guys. Number four will be the first billionaire in human history. The first person to have the opportunity to answer the question, what will you do with your billions, was John D. Rockefeller. The American oil tycoon John D. Rockefeller became the world's first confirmed U.S. dollar billionaire in 1916 and still holds the title of history's second wealthiest individual. So that's it guys. Those are the four firsts that you, I don't know, you probably didn't know about before this video. And uh, well, since I already shared it to you, uh, you already get the thought. So, yeah, um, how I wish, aside from this information, contents, and videos, I can also sh like share some billions to you guys. But we're not there yet. Um, but let's just hope for the best. And uh, yeah, I, I wish the same will happen to you. And see you at the Billionaires Club. Peace out.